transportation. So this now is going to be electric vehicles. Now in the model, we are not allowing you to electrify aviation or shipping. Okay, that doesn't seem to be in the cards for right now. So uh, only land-based vehicles, cars, trucks, trains, and there you go, one notch. Now what did it do? Let's, let's take a look. It's worth something, but it's not a huge amount. You do shrink the wedge of oil because almost all transportation is fueled by oil coming from your group uh, today and you're shrinking that. Part of the reason it doesn't do more, so that's true for the buildings too, but they're, so right, and the model does keep track of the fleet of vehicles. So if you electrify, that means maybe, you know, the next time you need a car, you're gonna go get a Tesla or a Chevy Bolt or a Kia Soul Electric or any number. There's a million electric vehicles coming on in model year 2020 and beyond. Uh, but all those old cars that are burning gasoline are still on the road. And the average car in the United States lasts for 16 years, and in many parts of the world, they last for much longer. So that is in the model. You're not turning over the fleet any faster. That suggests there might be some policies that you could be interested in, like cash for clunkers, where you would trade in. We did this during the financial crisis of the United States. You trade in your old gas-guzzling big SUV, and you'd get several thousand dollars of credit towards a new, highly efficient, or in this case, electric vehicle. Now in the building sector, we have the same story. We keep track of all the existing buildings, and buildings last a lot longer than cars. But there is one difference. Buildings can be retrofitted. There's no practical, cost-effective way to retrofit your big gas-guzzling SUV. You can't really lightweight it, and although it's technically possible to rip out the internal combustion engine and the drivetrain and put in an electric drivetrain, it's prohibitively expensive. So you can't really retrofit on the transport side, but you can on the building side, and the model allows you to, um, to adjust how much retrofit potential there is. And that's why this has quite a large impact. So we pulled that one, one notch as well. We're down to 2.7. This is progress. 